natural health therapist, health and beauty therapies, and aromatherapist, reflexologist, um, kinesiologist, um, and I've studied many aspects of the body and natural healing. Um, and in kinesiology, we use muscle testing response. Um, where I was challenged by some Christians whether it was divination and thereby against God. So I took to the scriptures to find my answer many years ago. This is a lifelong work. And um, muscle response testing is a response to a test, a stimuli in the body. It's not divination. Um, and it's measuring the response of the body. It's a bit like a lie test in some ways. <laughs> um, and um, it's um, responding to what is already there. Um, and so early on in my research, I came across... Galatians 5 and but of course all scripture is about attaining to love <laughs> so it's not just this but so from 5 to 16 but I say keep walking by spirit and you will carry out no fleshy desire at all for the flesh is against the spirit and its desire and the spirit is against the flesh for these are opposed to each other so that they, the very things that you would like to do, you do not do. And so, I mean, I think we can all relate to that. It's almost like that addictive personality and traits. It's very hard to give up something that's not good for us. Um, but there does come a point where we can attain to that. But it takes a lot of work <clears throat> and it takes a lot of self-control and a lot of knowing. Um, and then it goes on to say, um, furthermore, if you are being led by spirit, you are not under law. Because the spirit has the fruits, which we'll come across those in a minute. But the works of the flesh are manifest, and they are fornication, uncleanness, loose conduct, idolatry, practice of spiritism, enmities, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, contentions, divisions, sects, envies, drunken bouts, revelries, and things like these. As to these things, I am forewarning you the same way as I did forewarn you that those who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom. On the other hand, the fruitage of the Spirit is love, joy, Peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faith, mildness, self-control. Against such things there are no law. Moreover, those who belong to Christ Jesus impaled the flesh together with its passions and desires. If we are living by spirit, let us go on walking, orderly also by spirit. Let us not become egotistical, stirring up competition with one another, envying one another. And I read that, and as a therapist, I'm like, oh my gosh, the, you know, the flesh is all of the stress hormones. Um, and at some point as well, I realised that um, the things that are classed as, as sin are what causes stress in the body. And, um, and thereby, I say that love is not a cortisol stress hormone, because it's a different nervous system. Um, and... Yeah, so these are um, the thoughts that I share through through my work. Um, I've got two of my books here. Parousia Loves Light, which is a um, poetry book all about the light of, of love. And um, um, yeah, of what the scriptures say, but in poetry, which I thank God for. I never meant to write poetry. This one is called Book of Life because I bring in this book the um, the principles of healing 
and um, scripture of my work is on the healing properties of the gemstones cited at Revelation 21 and um, healing all comes from attaining to the peace and the peace is the Holy Spirit and so we've just been through Pentecost and um, which was the start of the Christian church and I've been thinking even more on that today was um, you had the perhaps not been um, the healings that became evident at that time. Was that the first time that the Holy Spirit was um, was brought to earth, was manifest, you know, through Jesus Christ and through the resurrection and that attaining to the peace. And so this is the um, translation of the healing consciousness of the gemstones. Oh, it's just started raining. <laughs> Here's my beautiful peace lilies. Um, so I'm going to have to take these down now so they don't get wet. But I'm just bringing in now some of the more, a bit more colour. The magenta ray onto the Charlestoni, um stone. And the tribe of Gad and happiness. Um, and then at Pentecost, this was where I rained down that spirit of healing from uh, Revelation 21. And um, yeah, I'm thinking, why isn't um, Pentecost as um, well known as Christmas and Easter? Because surely that's what attaining to um, God's spirit is, that spirit of peace. And Jerusalem actually means twofold peace. So I'll share with you this poem. O green and pleasant land of the dove, what has happened to peace and love? For Jerusalem that was being made here is now being turned into terror and fear. O green and pleasant land do you hear that Jerusalem that is made here is twofold peace that is meant to be from living a good life positively. Positively living means not to die from negativity that is the lie, lies from love's opposition called stress. It is stress that creates in us such a mess. Jerusalem, negative you are not meant to be, but healing the lands with positivity. Because love is always positive. And, uh, yeah, and to find peace and to allow that peace to prevail means not to confuse not to confuse the children <laughs> and in order to attain to heaven as well we need Matthew eighteen thirteen says and said verily I say unto you except ye be converted and become as little children you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven innocence and trust Security, justice and peace, that's what the law of God is for. And so God, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. And ideally, we should complement each other, <laughs> not compete. And uh, yeah, I really stand for upholding the family. And... Um, giving value to the family and it's crazy being a working mum I'm no first hand and uh, the time and stress is immense the rushing the pressures and obviously for a mum children do come first generally mm. um, and gardens I think we need to uh, have gardens to, to grow foods and flowers and herbs for, um, like we've done for all time. <laughs> it's probably the first time in humanity 